This is Prowl1701, and we're here doing a review on the Bellicose. This is uh, another saber I have from Ultra Sabers. I'm really fond of this hilt. I actually won this one in a raffle. It was a first place prize. It has sound, and I'm really happy with it. Got a lot of features on it I like. Uh, I really like the Bellicose. It's very customizable. Um, this button can come in all sorts of different colors. I got one in chrome, which I like, and then... The emitter holder right here can come in silver or black. I got one in black. Got a nice pommel here. As you can see, it's got a wheel here, so you can attach it to a belt if you have a clip to go with the wheel. Uh, it's got a few scratches and dings on it. Uh, some of them it came with. Uh, not really a big deal. It gives it a little weathered look. Some of them I've added from dueling and carrying and everything. So it has a nice weathered look at this point, which I like. Um... I got it in Arctic Blue, which is the lighter blue, with an Ultra Edge blade, as you can see. Got a blue AV switch with it, which I really like. Looks good on it. Alright, see if we can go over a few more things about it in a little more detail. This has a good comfortable feel on it. I was I was on the fence about it originally. I wasn't sure if I would like it or not. And since I received it as a prize, they just kind of give out random prizes depending on what place you get. And this is the one I got. I'm really fond of it. It's very comfortable. Feels really nice. You'll notice the blue is uh, much lighter than the Guardian blue that I have uh, my initiate in, which I like. This one looks more like uh, Luke's um, lightsaber and. Empire Strikes Back color-wise, as opposed to the Return of the Sith colors. Also, it has flash on clash. You'll notice it flashes silver when I do that. It's a nice little added feature. Also, that's the that's the saber lockup sound effect. Whenever you do that, the blade flashes between the standard color and its flash on clash color. You'll notice the sound. It's got a great sound. It's very loud, very easy to very easy to hear. It's got all sorts of different sounds. It's got the idle hum, the swinging, the clashing sounds. Now, this isn't the standard sound that comes on on some of my other reviews. I actually have the standard sound that comes on the on the obsidian board. The standard sound is by far my favorite, but for this saber, I want to do something different. And they have different sound fonts. It's one of the advantages from buying a saber from Ultra Sabers is the different sound fonts you can get. And Ultra Sabers themselves have several different sound fonts up, but a lot of the users who are members of the forums also add their own sound fonts that you can add. This is a Luke, uh, Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker sound font that one of the users put on there. I can't remember his name, but... It's, he did a great job with it. I really like that. It fits this saber really well for me. I like the activation theme a lot. And the power down and the, the idle hung really gets me really well. Um, it takes lithium ion batteries, which you can order when you order the saber. If you do order a saber, make sure you get you a charger if you haven't gotten one yet. You'll need a charger to recharge it. All you have to do is you pull that out. Don't pull it any further than this. Any further, you risk damaging the saber because it's connected to the wires. And uh, this one, unlike most of them, a lot of them I pry out with my fingers. This one's they get clamped in there really well. Just get a little Phillips Phillips head screwdriver, put it in right there, and you can pop the sabers right out. And then you put some new ones in. It'll make a little sound letting you know that it's they're in there properly. And you just screw the pommel right back in. The pommels also are compatible from saber to saber, so you can take a different pommel from a different saber and put it right on in there if you want to. Uh, also the blade's removable. All you have to do is get a, a hex screw driver and use this and you can take this whole emitter out and then you can, there's a couple screws inside the little shroud right here that you can unscrew to take the blade out. So you can swap in different kinds of blade, different blade lengths. I use a 32 inch blade. Uh, the normal size on this one is a 36, but being a smaller guy, I prefer a shorter blade, so I use a 32 inch blade. Um, and again, this is the Ultra Edge. They also have a mid-grade blade. This is an Ultra Edge. I like it with the Arctic Blue. It goes really well. I'm very fond of the Sabre. Again, it had a few nicks and scratches when I first got it. I don't mind that. A lot of the nicks and scratches are ones I've added to it. 
just from dueling. It, uh, these are great not only as show pieces, but they duel really well. They're made for dueling or for show. They're fantastic at that. I've dueled with this one several times. It works really well. Uh, and this is the Bellicose in Arctic Blue with silver flash on clash. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you.